All right, welcome back, guys, to another episode of In the Sticks Outdoors. We've got a little bit heavier rods today. We're going to go for some striped bass. Um, so I got some heavier pound test. I'll kind of show you what rig I'm using. From what I've seen in this uh, this lake, is they can be monsters. So we're just going to be better safe than sorry. Uh, it's super windy. It's like 40 degrees, and the winds are like 40 miles per hour. So sorry if the audio quality is trash. All right, baby D, take these ones. Take this one. And you're going to put this reel on it. Uh, yeah. You guys want a sticker? Let me know in the comments. I got a few different ones. I'll ship them out to you if you get some people to subscribe. Circle hook. An arm length of leader line, about three feet. Swivel. And then I forgot my fish finder swivel, so I just wrapped one of these rings right here, about a one ounce. And I'll probably put some sling, uh, sinkers right here to keep it from, some pinch sinkers to keep it from moving. We're just using some cut up sardine, a nice big chunk. Put that circle hook right through the bottom of it, just like that. So Daniel wants to go big, so we're gonna use this huge hook. And we're just gonna stick that whole head on it, and throw it out there and see if a huge striper bites it, okay? Go ahead and tie that knot for me, like I taught you. Six times? Yeah, six. Do this one seven. Let's make it a little extra strong. Perfect. Stick that through there. Okay, lick that. Perfect. Pull it tight. Bam, look at that, strong. We got some rain coming down. That spot was uh, really bad and cold, so we're gonna just try to do a little off-roading to the backside of the lake. And we're gonna try in this back area of the lake. I brought some alligator meat that I got from a local farmer's market. If I don't catch any fish, we'll just cook up some food. This is a perfect little spot. Be careful, D. Please be careful, that's steep. Let's try this again. Hey, help me get some wood. Bass. Oh, 
I'm making these ones like a meat kebab, so because it's gonna take a little bit longer to cook than the vegetables. Well, we haven't caught any fish. I threw out my pole over there. Started cooking up lunch. We got alligator bacon shish kebabs with some vegetables. I never tried alligator before. It'll be my first try. I don't know if you can see it, but it just started snowing out here. Food's almost ready. No fish today, unfortunately, but it's still gonna taste delicious. Snow's coming down hard, uh. Holy cow! <laughs> it's good? Yeah. What do you think about alligator? It kind of tastes like Chicken. Yeah? Cool. And it's salty. Vegetables good? Mm -hmm. Some of this alligator. It's good? Yeah. Really good. You're right though, it's like salty. Almost like... I don't know, it tastes like a lake. <laughs> good though. Mm -hmm. The bad bass. Mm -hmm. 